About nine months ago, I wanted to learn to code. I was convinced by my software developer friend to study Python with Codecademy. That is what he recommended me do if I wanted to be a self-taught coder. So being the person that I am, I looked it up, I signed up for the little Codecademy free trial thing, and I started to code. And I swear to God, I still remember the exact date. I think it was like the end of March of 2023. Three, I remember what I did. It was variables as well as the introduction to for loops using Python. But I finished that up and with a lot of struggle and confusion, I was able to finish the for loop little project that they, they had. Now this may not sound like a lot, but for me, being able to do something with code was one of the biggest and greatest feelings that I ever had. Up to that point, I always doubted myself with programming. I didn't know how programs work, but I wanted to be in it. And that little incidental day where I just did something really basic pushed me and motivated me to become a software developer in the coming months. And most importantly, it gave me that added motivation to overcome those failures that I, I had to throughout the process of learning to code. And here we are today, nine months later, and I can safely say that programming has been one of the best decisions that I have ever made in my life. You see, I'm, I'm only 21 years old, I'm turning 22 in uh, November, and I have no valuable skills. Like I just graduated college with a degree in law, and my options were really either going to law school getting a full-time job in something that I hated, like an office job, or I don't know, like freaking going into mechanics or something like that. And all of those options weren't really appealing to me and I couldn't get a high paying job nor have a sustainable business because I had no valuable skill that I could offer to people. But now I'm nine months in, I'll show you my current business. Um, I have a valuable skill to offer to the world that first I could make money off a of business and secondly, I could go to an employer and say, hey, I know JavaScript, HTML, CSS, I can make websites, I can make web applications, what do you need? And being able to offer that and having options has been one of the greatest gifts that I've had. In addition, programming has allowed me to meet new people, network with different people that I would never have had access to if it weren't for the common uh, goal of programming. And so if you're considering going into programming on your own and like trying a new language and trying a different skill, I promise you, this would be one of the best decisions of your life. And I know you're probably doubting yourself whether or not you can get into this. And I get it. That was exactly what I was going through. I was unsure if I could learn math on my own. I was unsure if I could learn code on my own. I had this huge false belief that I needed a degree to become a coder, when in most cases, you're probably fine without one if you try hard enough. Programming has also allowed me to become more self-disciplined, self-reliable, and has given me this form of self-confidence in myself that I could learn anything if I put my mind to it. And again, this wasn't like an easy process. It, it came with a lot of headaches, a lot of days of self-doubt, a lot of depression, a lot of sadness. And you're like, okay, what, what's coding have to do with depression? It's just, when you when I had this, I had this really this big goal and dream of, of trying to code and learning the skill and finally being able to apply that and seeing improvement in that space has been one of the greatest feelings of my life. On top of that, um, it has given me the ability to think in like a more clear manner and more strategic manner because programming does that to you. And obviously most importantly, it has given me a form of happiness. And, and I say programming is giving me happiness, not because of the code itself. It's not like I'm coding like, like this, you know, not like <laughs> dumb. I'm saying like achieving something and improving in something is what makes humans happy. Getting better at a skill, improving relationships, that's what brings us happiness as humans. Winning at something, that's a sign of improvement. That's a sign that you're getting better. And that's exactly what I have gotten out of programming thus far. In addition, now I'm able to build stuff that I want to, like I'm building like an application right now. So I'm gonna end the video soon, but I just wanted to talk to, to you who is probably watching this video because you are interested in learning to code or are about to quit or need some motivation. Keep going. I promise you, you'll be okay. It's one of the best decisions that you will ever make. I know it doesn't make sense right now that like you're not understanding anything or that you're not really understanding where you're going with this, but it'll eventually all come together. Those those hours in, in, the, in the room, those days where you're coding and you don't know what's going on, I promise those days will make sense. And I feel like it's a sort of rite of passage for someone to go through that if they wanna be a self-doubt developer. You know, like it's not supposed to be easy. And that self-doubt phase and those, those days where you don't understand stuff, that is where 
the, the coder is made. But understand that programming is one of those things where if you learn it, you will never regret it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.